The surge of the Chinese AI chatbot DeepSeek has captivated global attention, but it's part of a broader movement. Chinese applications are climbing the charts worldwide TikTok, CapCut, Shine, Temu, to name a few. And it's not just on our phones. China is becoming dominant in many other areas of tech. Look at cars. It's overtaken the previous epicenters of motoring, selling more than any other country thanks to hit electric car makers like BYD. A lot of the success comes from China being the world's biggest battery maker now too. And solar panels. China is responsible for an estimated 80-95% of the global supply chain. By 2028, it's predicted that 60% of the world's renewable energy will be generated in China. In drones too, China rules the skies. Next time you hear that buzzing above your head, there's a 70% chance it's a DJI drone made in the city of Shenzhen. Three of the world's top 10 drone makers are Chinese. In the futuristic world of quantum computers, Chinese scientists publish more quantum-related research papers annually than any other country. And they're even ahead of the general leaders, the US, in some areas of quantum computing development. And it's the same picture in AI. Chinese AI firms now issue more patents than any other country. The rise of DeepSeek shows it's capable of challenging the dominant US giants with products too. So how has China done all this? Well, it's all part of a long-term plan. In 2015, the Chinese government set out an ambitious project called Made in China 2025. He wanted to move away from being the world's factory for low-cost goods to a global tech leader responsible for its own supply chain of cutting-edge tech. Made in China 2025, in my opinion, was largely very successful. So in many industries, like China is catching up with the leading edge. And in some industries, China even leading EV in cars um, and uh, 5Gs, batteries, solar energies. Now, even in the AI, JAI, um, China become one of the players. Target technologies. The plan set out more than 250 mini goals. According to analysis from the South China Morning Post, 86% of them have been ticked off. Some target like electric vehicles and renewable energy production have far exceeded expectations. South China Morning Post is sometimes accused of being pro-China, but Made in China 2025 has been hailed a success by many other analysts too. What China has been moderately successful at least, and you know, some would say incredibly successful at doing, is using its sort of state-backed capitalism system, whereby the government really sets a research agenda, sets a funding agenda. According to US Congress research, the Chinese government planned to raise or spend us $1.5 trillion on grants for research, development, or buying foreign companies. By 2020, more than a $627 billion had been spent. Research centers sprung up in city hubs focused on various technologies. However, the US and its allies have accused China of shortcutting some of its tech innovation by stealing intellectual property through hacking, for example, from us aircraft makers. China has always denied this. Made in China 2025 became so successful that after a few years, the government stopped using the term as it was antagonizing rivals. But it was too late. Uh, over the years, the, the, the West have imposed restrictions and sanctions on China uh, regarding Huawei is a great example. Around 2019, it was a global leader in 5G equipment and held a significant market share in mobile phones. But widespread us led sanctions, citing national security concerns, crippled its access to microchips, shrinking its market share. Yet, Huawei pivoted into microchip manufacturing and became a major player. In 2023, 
it released a phone with a microchip far beyond what was thought possible. A similar story unfolded with DeepSeek. The company claims it couldn't access the most powerful chips to train its models, so it innovated with older ones and new techniques. A high-performing chatbot built with less powerful tools and a smaller budget, a shock to the US tech industry. Donald Trump TikTok also took the West by surprise. It came as a shock. Deep seek AI from a Chinese company should be a wake up call for our industries that we need to be laser focused on competing to win. Potential bans over national security concerns. Meanwhile, Shine and Temu have risen as e commerce powerhouses, merging China's low cost goods with cutting edge app features. But not all of China's 2025 ambitions have been realized. Antri still lags in chip manufacturing with progress hampered by intensified sanctions. The US is pouring hundreds of billions into staying ahead in semiconductor technology, with plans for US $500 billion in AI infrastructure investments announced in January. Nations like Germany and Japan have introduced rival strategies, but it's undeniable a new tech superpower has emerged, boasting grand ambitions, vast resources, and unwavering determination exploring the world one story at a time subscribe to adventure chuckles for more